Okay, thank you everybody to another session on the key reporter. One of the questions I got asked uh, recently was how uh, to use the definition of the contexts in a selection query. There's this wonderful, nice feature where you can set this field, what this means and how to use it. Um, I want to show you how to do this is on a simple kind of a pipeline comparison. So I want to show the pipeline per sales and want to compare one sales rep to another one. So I call this the pipeline comparison. Uh, right. So, okay, the one thing I want to have, I want to have a pipeline uh, per sales stage. And I want to take the complete amount. So what I do is simply drag those two fields over, do a group by, and then I group by the sales stage. I do a function as sum on the amount, and then I define two filter criteria. The first filter criteria is on the sales stage itself, so I just want to take open opportunities. And say, okay, I'll do that. It's okay. Um, is one off. Let's see. Let's define the various values we want to use. And the second thing I want to do is uh, take the assigned user. So first of all, I want to set the username to ignore. So, okay, I don't care about it. I want to allow the edit and say yes. And now I type in a context. Similar to the reference, this is just a free text field where you can type everything you want. And I call this the username contexts. The next thing I do is on manipulation. That's fine. Presentation, just stay with the standard view. We could do whatever we want here. And then I define uh, on the visualization that I want to have two charts. I want to have two Google charts, and I take uh, two pie charts. The first dimension I take is the sales stage, and I represent the amount, saying the amount in sunset is a color scheme, and I call this by the user context, present the legend on the Right, and here type in the context as we have written it. So you could type multiple contexts just by comma separating it. So remember, we have written in the select clause the context username on the visualization on my chart. On chart one, I use the context, and then I do another chart, which is just I do exactly the same. So I do another pie chart, um, also say do it by sales stage, um, show the amount, take the same color scheme. I also want to flag empty values. What empty values does, uh, more or less needed on the other one. This I call all users, uh, show the legend on the right. And here use no context. Again, here I also want to show the empty values. Again, uh, what empty values does, if you have values like sales stage, which are based on an enum, if you define empty values, it will also show you in the chart empty values which are zero, which means uh, color allocation are the same left and right. So if we save that, remember we have this one selection criteria. So the chart looks as it should be. So if we just open that, those are the amounts, complete my user. And both charts are the same. If I now say, okay, the username, I don't want to ignore it. I will say equal to Sarah, which is one of the users in here. And I update. Then you see that only the left chart is changing. So context means that this selection criteria of the user, which has a certain context, is only applied to the left chart. The right chart, it is not applied. For example, if I change this and say, okay, let me look at Will. Looks again completely different. So context means one filter is applied to the left side or one chart. 
I could even make this more explicit and say, okay, I don't want to compare to all users, I want to compare one user to the other one, just by two charts and we'll play around with that. So the next thing I can do is I can take just the same story again. I take the assign to user and again take the username. Let's say this was a do ignore. And I call this username left and this I call username right. And for the ease of it, I call this username right. And then I go to my visualizations, I have put on both the contexts, and now uh, I put the username right as a context in here for this chart. Just making sure we allow the edit here, so this is fine. Yes, save it. So now I have not applied any filter, but what I can do now is say, okay, on the left, I set the username to, let's say, Sarah. That changes it. On the right, I set the username to Will. Now only my right should change again. So you can see, the one is applied on the context to the left as an additional filter, the second one applied to the right. None of these, by the way, apply to the report results. So the presentation layer is not affected by any of the context. Contexts only uh, apply uh, to charts. And you can also change this and say, okay, is one off. So you want to compare now Sarah to group of peers, so including herself. Oops, so I take Chris, Sierra, and Will. Change, <coughs> excuse me, changes again, and you see the various users on the right side, of course, now <coughs> the title is misleading, reflected by context. Okay, so much short introduction on the context, what it can do. There's many other things you can uh, basically fill around with that, but uh, typically a nice feature especially if you want to have comparison and want to use uh, more narrow criteria on one side on the chart or the other one, so narrowing results down. Thank you.